Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniard. So this is something what we already dedicated several videos. We reviewed the so-called basic kit, here we have the advanced kit, it's written there. And it copies P47D25RE Thunderbolt. Uh, so in 148 scale this release might be interesting for modellers who would like to copy the Spamos aircraft with a bit more features because as you remember this advanced series or advanced kit should include a bit more features and I think there is also PE included or something like this we will see it further in the video but of course we have the commercial sample so that's why I decided to take a closer look with you and you can get exactly the same thing in for example Modeli Mix. So first of all box size is exactly the same here you can see comparison with my hand. In my opinion the previous version the basic kit has a bit more beautiful beautiful box art but it's my personal opinion and here we have also some safety devices and the rest of the manufacturer also again the mention that this is advanced kit and on the opposite side you can see three marking options which are included here so not to uh, just like it was in the basic kit this is a top opening box and inside we get plenty of space as you can see all frames are sealed into one plastic bag so we will need to cut through them and check what is actually included here and I can see that it's way more plastic spruce you could have noticed that we had the uh, traditional mini art envelope on the top it means that P parts included for sure and I can see also that we have here the uh, separate plastic bags inside the plastic bag so I'm going to open it right now, but in the meantime I can also remind you that uh, the original or the basic kit release was really nice and I recommend to check it if you missed this video because it was also quite a good thing if, in case you don't need any extra features. Okay, so I just need to remove a bit of dust. Let's zoom in. So first of all, this envelope which I mentioned, usually Miniart packs here the PE frets. This kit is not an exclusion, but we have only one PE fret. I thought there are more, but it's quite heavy, so that's why I had such idea. As you can see, we have unpainted PE fret. Here we have various parts, and from what I can see, we have the parts for uh, internal and external elements because for example here you can see the seat belts so it's just a matter of applying them and just to give you an idea of the thickness here you can see it uh, just like that okay so that was quite a useful bonus in my opinion especially in this scale and next we continue with the fuselage half here I think I can zoom in and open the lenses so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the right fuselage half. We have the pre-molded tail fin, as you remember the if you saw the previous uh, version. Uh, so you should remember that the coating is assembled separately. We have really nice external features here. And you can also compare them in the special video which I made in comparison with Tamiya kit in the same scale. Here you can see also some ex internal features. So we have some guiding pins. This is really important. I think especially with this aircraft because of this I would say quite bulky uh, fuselage shape. Next we continue with the left fuselage half so again quite thin attachment points so it should be easy to separate those parts of the sprue so it's just a matter of careful let's say separation and installation of all of these parts together but again inside we do not have that many features because they will be installed separately so uh, keep it in mind and also plan your let's say painting procedure accordingly next I need to cut through another plastic bag so just give me a moment it should be quite quick but from what I shown in the comparison with Tamiya video so it was visible that the modern kit obviously offers way more features and that's why uh, from now on I recommend to get only the Miniart Thunderbolt because there is basically no point in spending the same amount of money for the Tamiya kit. And next here for example you can see the wing parts. So I guess maybe I will zoom out so that you can see all of the wing parts. Here we also have the cooling panels as you can see. And we have the landing gear legs, several types as far as you can see, because uh, this kit allows you to replicate the loaded or not 
loaded version. And just to give you an idea about external features of the wing here, you can take a closer look. Okay. And let's flip them over. Here inside we have some guiding elements. Uh, note that the wing edges, they will serve as a guiding element also. And the flaps and ailerons, they are molded separately. Because I saw some discussions on the internet forums that uh, some people were writing that you should cut some original parts. No, you should not do anything because it's already prepared as a separate parts. Next, we continue with the clear sprue. So here it is. Some of you wrote that they got the, let's say, later issues of the basic kit and the clear parts were okay. So this set of clear parts look fine in my opinion. So with some careful masking you will get really nice result. I would rather wait until we get some aftermarket manufacturer to produce the mask set because it's a really tricky uh, canopy design I would say and it will take some time. Next we have another plastic bag and I guess this one is specific for the advanced kit so just give me a moment I will open it and we will take a closer look together why it is specific for advanced kit because here we have this special let's say pre-cut wings so I will just place them like that and zoom out so that you can see what I'm talking about so Pre-cut wings, as I said before, we have these openings for machine gun base, and this is really cool. We also have the separate flaps, as you can see, again, the cooling parts, and just to give you a better idea of those cutouts, so here is the closer look, and also some parts for the ammo bay, and also those separate panels. Machine guns are here, and maybe for the barrels, it would be a good idea to find some metal replacement, because in this scale, such upgrade would be a really uh, good looking thing. So I would rather recommend to invest uh, money into such thing. Next, we continue with this sprue. So here we have the engine parts, we also have uh, the propeller, as you can see two blades are molded separately and they should be combined together because it's a four blade propeller on the Thunderbolt, but the engine is really good, I would say for out of the box version this is really impressive offering. Next we continue with the cockpit parts and also engine gear wheels. So I would rather show you the cockpit parts because in this scale I think Minyard did a really great job here because we get a lot of features pre-molded and you are actually able to you know, replicate them even in the basic kit. But here as you remember they will be enhanced with help of P parts. So again, even more features. And I have no doubt that we will see some aftermarket for this release as well. It's just uh, give it some time and there uh, will be some updates for this purpose, let's say. Next, we continue with the various armament. So here I can see that the interconnection between sprues is bringing you the various fuel tanks, bazookas, and also bombs. So let's zoom out a bit. Here you can see what I'm talking about. All of these items are more than welcome, especially considering that they are coming as a standard plastic kit and you don't have to buy them separately. And of course, they are completely fine for the plastic kit. Some of those will stay in your spare parts box, which is also cool, because you can use it in your future build. So definitely win-win situation and nothing to complain about here. But that's not all, because we have one more plastic sprue. Probably you heard me opening the plastic bag. So... It's not like a plastic sprue, it's again the interconnection between plastic sprues. But as you remember, Minya are doing a lot of the small frames. So here it is good that they are actually connecting everything together. And as you can see, again, we have some uh, different types of these bombs and smoke bombs included. Next, we have another plastic bag. This is actually the last one, so I'm going to quickly cut through it. And maybe in the meantime, it's a good moment to remind you that you can support us with a small donation. It's easy thing to do. We have a big red button on our website. And of course you will be defining how much we will get. So all of this money will be used in order to get new kits or maybe to upgrade our equipment to bring you the better video and sound quality. So here we have the last gray plastic sprue. As you can see, this one is dedicated to wing mechanization and also some minor parts for the cockpit 
and the tail fairings. So again, overall, they look completely fine. And the only thing which is, I'd say, asked from you is to carefully assemble all of the things together. And I think for a 148 scale, this is a really decent set of features to get out of the box. And maybe for some others, this will be more than enough. The only thing is, some of you were writing in the comments that the external features are a bit rough. Well, do not forget that you get to apply the primer and also the paint, what will make those features actually a bit smoother and it will be a bit more, let's say, difficult to lose them under those coats of primer and paint. Next, we continue with the decals. So here I will close the lenses a bit. These decals are coming from Cartograph, as far as I remember. So we even have the decals for the cockpit. And that might be handy for modellers who don't want to spend extra money for PE parts. They would like to use all out-of-the-box things. So definitely a good thing here. And by the way, there is one more decal sheet here because we have the stencils also printed on the separate decal sheet and this is really great quality uh, we have the segmentation as you can see it's signed for example for the left wing or something else so quite nice and next we have the assembly manual so here i think we should close the lenses even more zoom out and show you the brochure. So this is a typical mini art brochure. We have short list of the features on the cover. Next, we have first two marking options from July 1944 and June 1944. This one should be nice, in my opinion. Next, we have one more from uh, September 1944. Parts map, as usual, does not show used parts or unused parts, so be careful with that. And here we have the assembly process. As you can see, we have the clear separation between basic and advanced assembly. Advanced assembly involves the PE parts, so pay attention to this. And the basic assembly uses the pre-molded features, for example, in case of the seat belts. Next, we continue with the physiological assembly here again we have the advanced assembly of the engine because some PE parts will be involved here and there and here we have the basic assembly of the engine next we continue also with the open version of the cooling for the engine for the advanced version which is again quite cool and you can also assemble the closed cooling as well so that's your choice but it's really cool that we are actually given such option and uh, next we have all of the standard options for the rear wheel bay because you can uh, assemble with a closed wheel bay but here we continue with another thing for the advanced kit is this ammo base you remember the wing one it's replicated from both sides again and next we have one more page with the wing assembly steel by the way here you can see the assembly options for the landing gear legs and then we continue with the armament actually here so armament is also quite a wide choice of the things as you can see so be careful with the loadout next we have the stenciling guide for this aircraft and also here you can see some wiring schemes for the engine and for the right and left wing next we continue with the marking guide for the armament and that's pretty much also we have the small picture of the basic kit and some other useful sets which might be used with this aircraft in 148 scale we reviewed them by the way so you can find them on our youtube channel as well as for today's kit it should be already available on Modelimax, and i will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and press the like button if you like this video and you want to support us i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye